Hi everyone, it's Lori and welcome to my channel. I hope you are all doing well today. So today we are actually going to have a hashtag Thrifty Thursday on Saturday. A couple of reasons why. Um, so number one is um, I have recently had a couple of huge hauls and my Thrifty Thursdays that will post on Thursday is now out through either the end of July or 1st of August. And I have picked up some more items uh, from my local thrift store, the Peace Place. And, um, yeah, I want to use them. <laughs> so I don't want to have to wait till like, you know, the middle of August uh, for you guys to see it before I start using it. So this is just going to be a um, Thrifty Thursday on Saturday. Um, to show you guys these items and number two I needed a video for Saturday because um, I wasn't paying attention to the weeks and I have finished my hashtag Roxy's Journal of Stitchery and we are fixing to get into a new collaboration with uh, Rachel and, Sh and Sarah and um, yeah so I have no uh, hashtag Roxy's Journal of Stitchery this week because of course it's over. So we will go ahead and get into this Thrifty Thursday on Saturday. So I went to my local Peace Place and picked up, found a few items. Um, so we have this right here. It looks like a maybe like a table cover, tablecloth type thing. Um, I thought it was really pretty. It is 100% cotton. So, I thought this would be pretty to cut apart. It does have a little stain there, but other than that, that's all that's on it. Um, and I think all these things I'm fixing to show you, she charged me like a dollar for all of them. So, that was pretty cool. Oh, there's another stain there, but you know what? It's good. We may even coffee dye it. So, I got that, and then I got this table runner here very very pretty again we can coffee dye it or leave it as it is and use it to cut apart and of course put in our journal if I could learn how to fold uh, we might get somewhere okay let's see corner to corner corner to corner okay so there's that one we got that one and then I picked up this one really really pretty I like that sheer in the middle the way that that is so I picked up that so I think she charged me a dollar for all three of those and then I found this little pack of uh, DIY craft burlap trim um, I do not see a company on there so I have no idea who it's from or where it's from it just says um, two yards of burlap trim with lace so we have a pink and a purple so we got that I'll pause you guys for just a moment. Alright guys, sorry about that. Veronica and the kids headed out the door and wanted to say bye. And then I picked up this. This is a whole pack. So this is 10 yards um, of pink. It's wired. I don't really like the wire, so I will end up pulling the wire out. Uh, and this was a dollar. Um, but yeah, I really like that. So I thought that would be pretty. And then I got this thing right here. It was a dollar. Um, and it has this real pretty trim here. And then this one here. It's a good bit of that one. Um, so yeah, not too bad for a dollar, I thought. And then I got three packs of these. Um, I really don't remember what she charged me for these. But this says it's Avon French Aster Stationery Refill. Um created in Japan exclusively for Avon products this is vintage at 1985 so but yeah these have the envelopes and then stationary refill look at that so pretty and these feel really good. I bet these would be nice coffee dot as well. So I got three packs of those. And again, like I said, I didn't pay a whole lot of attention. So I'm not sure what she charged me for those. But we got those. And then, guys, let me get my garbage bag out here. Because this is, like, huge. So I got this. And this is just, I don't know, because it kind of looks like a bed skirt. 
Um, but normally they don't put the decorative stuff on the inside. And this is a real pretty pink. But see how it's got those where it drapes over. And it is probably a full size. It's pretty big. So I thought this would be amazing to cut up and use in our journals. So I got that. It needs to go in the wash. Not been washed yet. And then this panel here, guys. I actually got two of these panels here let's see and these are just curtain panels like this pretty long and as you can see it's kind of wrinkly and sheer in the middle but then it's got this glossy strip here and the whole thing is that way and then it has like a valise attached to it with this trim so I picked up two but what I have already done with the other one and I will grab it I'm gonna leave that one up there so you guys can see the difference look at that I coffee dyed this one so this one right here has been coffee dyed so let me see if I can find the end that has that trim on it and let's see how that turned out with being coffee dyed absolutely delicious it turned out look at that so that's been coffee dyed so this is another one. Oh, you can smell the coffee too. I like to do my coffee strong. Because um, seriously, I really like smelling the coffee. Um, so the only other thing that I got. Um, I'm trying to halfway roll or fold that up. So that I can get it out of the way. This one we'll just chunk in the floor right now. Um, it is two sets of cards. Um and their cards guys are 50 cents a pack um so these are vintage i thought i saw a date on one but not on the other 1996 uh, so this is christmas playing cards so i thought these would be fun to use in our journals yeah that'll be lots of fun so we have those that deck oh come on get in there come on come on uh and then we have the coca-cola and i do believe these are all the same but i abs yeah but i absolutely love that image right there so these are all the um coca-cola ones so i am fixing to since this is going to go up um, next Wednesday, start a uh, hashtag Christmas in July 2022 20, uh, that I am co-hosting with Jovi over at Creating with Jovi. Um, yeah, we will be doing that. So you guys go check out her video or my video, the intro um, for that because I actually am planning on doing my video today. So we may end up using playing cards. Who knows? The first week is tags. Just make Christmas tags. Uh, for the first week and again that will be the first every Wednesday in July we'll be posting um, the first week is tags the second week is pockets and the third and fourth week is crafters choice so you can do anything you want there so I hope you guys will come on over and participate in that collaboration with Jovi and I um, and also if you hadn't heard Jovi and I actually met let's see I'm filming on uh, Tuesday the 28th uh, we actually met yesterday. Her and Carl are on a um, a little road trip, and they happen to end up in Georgia and Helen, which is about um, around an hour from me. Um, and they were going to be passing through, so they stopped uh, in my little low town of Jefferson yesterday, and we had lunch. So we had a fabulous time. It was amazing meeting uh, Jovi uh, face to face. Uh, you know, she's a huge supporter and a wonderful friend, and I just love you to death, Jovi, and thank you and Carl both for taking the time to stop and spend some time with me. I really appreciate it. It was a very special and exciting day for me. Alright, guys, so again, this is a Thrifty Thursday on Saturday, and it is hosted by Sherry over at Turquoise Dreaming, and I will make sure to link all of her information in the description box below, and I'm excited to
excited to start using some of this stuff. All right, I love you guys. Please like and comment. That's a great way you can help support my channel. Uh, I'm also signed up for Buy Me a Coffee if you would like to support me that way. All right, I love you guys. Thank you all so much, and you have a fabulous Saturday.